गुड मॉर्निंग वन एंड ऑल प्रेजेंट हियर डियर फ्रेंड्स टुडे आई हैव ब्रॉट यू सम इम्पोर्टेंट वोकेबलरी वर्ड दैट यू माइट एवर हैव सीन इन योर लाइफ यू माइट हैव हर्ड यू माइट हैव स्पोकन दैट वर्ड होप यू माइट हैव हर्ड इवन स्पोकन सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड एंड रिकेप्चुलेट वट आर दोज वर्ड आई हैव ब्रॉड फॉर यू सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड डियर फ्रेंड्स bulwart bulwart a wide street in a town or city typically one line with trees as picture shown that site is called bulwart and facade the principal front of a building that faces on to a street or open space that is to say deceptive outward appearance of any of the building that uh, site is called the facade and scaffolding as picture is clear by picture it become clear what the scaffolding is clear a temporary structure on uh, the outside of the building made of wooden planks and metal poles clear and uh, next one is the gazebo a small building with open sides in a garden or yard as picture shown everybody might have seen that uh, structure that structure is called gazebo and clinomania clinomania is the excessive desire to stay in bed someone uh, loves to stay back in the bed that uh, site and uh, that habit is called clinomania and uh, glabella glabella is anatomy related to human body part and where it is situated it is situated uh, forehead above and between the eyebrow that part is called the glabella clear and next one is philtrum it is also a noun where it is situated the parts of speech uh, but uh, part of our body it is the junction between the two halves of an animal's upper lip or nose base also the vertical groove between the base of the nose and the border of the upper lip that is called philtrum and in uh, intemperance intemperance lack of moderation or resistant one more synonyms incontinence intemperance unrestrained self abandonment for example his occasional intemperance of tone or we can say excessive indulgence especially in alcohol if someone have uh, excessive indulgence in alcohol we call him her intemperance a warming about female intemperance clear the ho devor devor darva ho devor that is the noun used uh, is used uh, a small dish served with your meal and it is also known as starter or entry that is eaten at the time of drinking if someone drinks and takes snake starter at that time is called how devours hamlick's maneuver very important word you have uh, might have seen or heard it is a practice first aid procedure for dislodging an obstruction from a person's windpipe in which a sudden strong pressure is applied on the abdomen between the navel and the rib cage this image shows that if uh, anything struck into the throat and if there is no 
टू हेल्प यू दिस इज द प्रैक्टिस ऑफ फर्स्ट एड यू कैन हेल्प यू कैन पुट इट आउट बाई डूइंग दिस प्रैक्टिस एंड दिस प्रैक्टिस इज कॉल्ड हेमलिक्स मैनोवा डिसलॉज डिसलॉज मीन्स इट इज अ वो टू मेक समबडी और समथिंग मूव फ्रॉम इट्स करेक्ट फिक्सड पोजिशन that is uh, the strong wind dislodged several tiles from the roof the example or we can say remove from a position of power or authority that is called dislodge for example government opponents fail to dislodge the prime minister and coparsno coparsno it is also a noun that word means a person who shares equally with others in the inheritance of an undivided estate or in the rights of it that is called coparsner second is the mannequin mannequin as uh, picture shown here is clear uh, the effigy is uh, kept outside of the mall shop is called mannequin to display clothes in the shop or window that is called dummy also clear and is drop is drop as picture depicts secretly listen to a conversation that is called is drops for example my father is dropped on my phone calls to listen secretly to other people talking that is called it drops patrico 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 that is noun it is a pleasant smell that frequently accompanies the first train after a long period of warm dry weather that is called patrico patrico Aglet, 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 aglet means a metal or plastic tube fixed tightly around each end of our shoelaces. Everybody have seen this, but I think that we even do not know what it is called. Now, vagitus. What is this vagitus? A newborn baby's first cry. That is called vagitus. or the crying or screaming of any baby or small child that is called vagitus and tine tine is also a noun as picture shown a prong or sharp point such as that on a fork or antler phosphine as a noun a sensation of a ring or spot of light produced by pressuring on the eyeball or direct stimulation of the visual system other than by light that is called phosphine over morrow over morrow is a noun the day after tomorrow is called over morrow clear we have uh, used day after tomorrow but uh, it is a archaic word used that is over morrow for example i have heard that tomorrow and over morrow may bring exceptionally high waves and adverb adverb on the other day tomorrow after tomorrow if we leave over morrow we should not miss a day of the festival this is the example of over morrow next is the griffinich as picture shown careless handwriting a grudge or illegible scrawl that is called griffinich vocable vocable a word especially with reference to form rather than meaning as it is uh, seen in the picture while singing if someone sings a la 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 na 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 such types of words are used in the melody that is called vocable 
intrabank intrabank a sentence ending with the intrabank ask the questions in an excited manner express excitement or disbelieve in the form of question or asks a rhetorical rhetorical question for example you call that a hat are you out of your mind what are those such types of questions when we ask that is called the intrabank kalimela nasi kalimela nasi is what it is shown in the picture and also the body parts of the mouth nose the fleshy external end of the nasal septum is called the kalimela or the kalimela nasi and is made up of cartilage and soft tissue the nasal septum contains bone and hyaline cartilage amsai amsai means in sieving arms hole it is the arm hole where arm is kept out as it is shown in the picture the length of the amsai is the total length of his h that is called amsai dysenia dysenia is a chronic feeling that you just cannot get out of bed in the morning that is called dysenia while it's not a medical diagnosis it can be an important clue that you may have another health condition causing extreme fatigue when you find it is not feasible to get up in the morning that desire is called dysenia tittle a tiny amount or part of something it is archaic also a small written or printed stroke or dot indicating omitted letters in a word what is called written on i or j above the dot uh, uh, kept there or put there that dot is called tittle brenock device brenock device is device dramatically improved the accuracy of the foot measurement from 95 to 96 percent accurate that is called the brenock device bedgasm a feeling of complete and utter euphoria which peaks when climbing into bed at the end of 18 hour work day a long road trip or hours of extremely strenuous physical activity when it is feasible enjoyable and comfortable after a long journey or work you find yourself a very comfortable and happy and gloomy that is called bedgasm hammock hammock a bed made of canvas or rope mesh suspended from two supporters by cords at both ends you might have seen this types of which i have shown in the picture that is called hammock that's all for today dear friends thanks for watching the video have a nice day